after more than a month uh, since the last eruption, we have now more than 10 million cubic meters of magma accumulated under the reservoir, which is under the Swartzengi volcanic system. Uh, but no eruption. We are seeing the magma has passed the threshold of 8 million, uh, which is the normal uh, amount of the magma for this uh, system. GPS data is now out of the charts practically. We don't have enough space to plot it. There is not enough earthquakes on the seismograms. And when we look at it, also, there is not enough uh, earthquake at the depth, is not enough earthquakes to crush the rocks, make pathway for the magma to move and uh, transfer laterally from the reservoir toward the rift valley in the Sunuka craters at what, as what I call Grindavik uh, Rift Valley. Magma from the previous eruptions almost has solidified. There is a kind of plastic way. It's kind of blocking the way from the reservoir to the, uh, you know, where it can erupt through the fissures, through the dikes and the seals. We, here we have a reservoir. Reservoir is something directly up the uh, mantle of the earth. Then through the vein systems that goes through the face of the fault lines, it can erupt. These veins are blocked by the previous eruption, it seems. There is not enough pressure. We need probably more than 10 million kilometers, well more than 15 or 20 million cubic meters, just to be enough to push the magma sideways toward the Grindavik Rift Valley from the range, which is the mountain, the hill of the Swartzengi, toward the east to erupt. We don't have enough pathways for the magma to move and not enough pressure.